I want to go back into this Colby thing because this is... I can't believe I never even asked about it the first time we had a conversation. I mean, it ain't really much to talk about. He's an idiot, you know? Bro, but th let's just backtrack, dude, because there's a lot of... Speaking of that bitch, he just ducked the fight right now. I've never ducked a fight in my fucking career. And this Who'd guy he duck? I forget the... Um, Ian Gary. <laughs> I love your boy so much. Was it, was <laughs> it already so like much. set and he pulled out? Uh, he didn't even want to sign the contract, man. And he's talking about fake <laughs> fighters and this and that. He's always been the fakest motherfucker ever I'm, lived, man. I hope I don't get reamed for this, but the eye poke and yeah. the other shit that he pulled when you guys were fighting, do you think he purposely did that? Oh, the eye poke, 100%. And it was a good fucking eye poke because after the fight, eye poke. I was fucking seeing double vision. It's just like, you know, Herb Dean and me have never fucking got in the long, but and I think he's also like one of the worst referees that, that's ever existed. Like he has too many mistakes at a high level. Great person, like outside of that. I think he's a great person outside of refereeing, but in refereeing, I've just, it's just been like me that he's always had these like weird calls, but that was a seriously good eye poke. Like I should have had a little bit of time to recoup, not fucking let this guy hug his arms after he just eye poked and then went for a bear hug, you know? But whatever, it's a sport, shit happens, you know? Okay, let's backtrack when you guys first met because that, unless you don't want to get into yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Okay, cool. Um, so what's the deal, bro? You help this guy out and then he tries to climb on top he, of you for uh, success? He came over to American Top Team. I was already part of the gym. He came over in a recruiting trip. They brought a bunch of wrestlers and different guys from different gyms. And ATT was uh, doing like a program like you come stay with us, live with us. We'll take care of you if you make it. I don't know. We had a, a good amount of, of people applying. He was one of them. Um, he wrestled for Oregon and did all right. You know, so he came over. He joined the program. And uh, we were training, same time. And, and back then I was playing like a lot of poker. And this motherfucker's like a degenerate. You know, he's at the casino to this day, every day. He's, he's actually right there right now. <laughs> I wish. No, no, he is. I, I was just with him. I wish. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he just Listen. gets up and leaves. Oh, my God. I wish. <laughs> yeah. huh? I just look back like that. Them boys are normally going, oh. I wish. Um, no, but yeah. You know, and uh, we were hanging out. We, we were fucking, you know, cool with each other. And he was living with his chick at the time. And his chick kicked his ass out of the crib so he didn't have no one he had his hand broken so we got along pretty well and i had this apartment that was right by the by the gym so i was like bro you come crash on my couch a couple months you know get your shit right get your hand right get a couple scraps and then fucking pay me back you know because at the time i wasn't i was a pro fighter already had like 20 something fights but there's not a lot of money in fighting back then i'm talking about like no sponsors and nobody giving yep. you shit bro you had to really work so for i was it. like bro give me 100 200 dollars for all this food that you've eating because i used to have like a meal prep company you know and this and that and that's how i should have really been known this motherfucker ain't shit dog like i'm here helping him out wasn't even kicking nothing back then so anyways um we were, were cool and I introduced him as well to my coach that I've been with since basically a fucking kid, you know. And my coach and him make a deal. They go, whatever you make, if it's $100 or $100,000, I want 5%. Yep. And that's all I want. Standard. And I, and I shook that deal with my coach and to this day we have that deal and I've never broken that deal with him. And he's the guy that he always sees a little older. His name is Paulino Hernandez. He'll be in my, in my fight now for the boxing match and he's been like in all my MMA fights, you know. And there's a handshake so, agreement? Just a handshake agreement. And it went from me paying him like $50 a fight to hundreds of thousands of dollars for every time I fight, you know. And it's still on a handshake deal and it's like, boom, we, we get it done, you know. So this motherfucker finally makes money, which he's never paid even the 5%. He's like, oh, on the next one, oh, on the next one. He finally fights for the title, makes some decent money, and guess what he does? Deuces. My coach training the whole time leading up from amateur to that world title. Wow. My my initial feeling was like, all right, I know where this dude lives. I know where he trains. He lives on my couch. I know <laughs> where he lives. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go clean his clock. Just straight up, like, um, you wanna do some Was this shit? before your guys' match or after? This is before, mm -hmm. way before the match. And my coach is like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do that. That's not what you wanna do. That's not what you wanna do. We'll get him back when we fight, this and that. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a good coach. Go, All right. So I didn't do it. I didn't do nothing, you know? And uh, shit, whatever. I just wasn't cool with him. I see him at the gym, be like, don't talk to me. And he'd be like, oh, what's the deal? I'm like, nah, you know what the deal is, bro. You're fucking, you're shade ball, bro. Mm. He's like, bro, I, you know, it's just, it's a problem with translation because I speak English. You only speak Spanish. It's like, nah, my, my coach understands you. And I've already translated for you guys on the phone. It's 5% of whatever you made. And you didn't want to pay that shit like a little bitch, which he's had problems with all his coaches. He got kicked out of American top team. He, 
This is just not me. This is like a long... John 5% Jones is hates nothing his ass. compared to what he's doing Ty, for him. Tyrone Woodley hates his ass. Like, everybody he's had a close encounter with, they can't stand this motherfucker. And Tyrone Woodley was telling me, and John Jones was telling me at the time, watch out for this motherfucker. He's not who he, who he is, who he acts like. Watch out for this motherfucker. I'm like, I'm just letting him crash in my couch. No biggie, right? Wrong as fuck. Um, and then he does that to my coach. We don't kick it no more. And then... I was at 155, I came up to 170. I started getting a lot of press. Everybody starts talking about me. Instead of just being like, all right, we'll fight, because damn, not only did I hook you up, but at some point we were cool, we're good friends. We don't have to talk about each other's kids, which he doesn't have, but I do. We don't have to talk about each other's family, mom, dad, and all these things to sell a pay-per-view, mm -hmm. to sell like a dollar, you know? So, and if you would do that, I'm the type of motherfucker, I'm like, well then, we were never cool, you know? If you would do that for a dollar bill and you have a, a dollar amount of, like, oh, me talking shit will generate us 300 more thousand pay-per-views, well then, fuck you. You're never my brother, you're never my friend. Everything about you was fucking fake as fuck, you know? So yeah, you know, fucking, we went to war. Do you think it hurt you more because I've only hung out with you twice, yeah. and from what I got, you put the people you love above yourself. I could tell by the way you think the people that helped you from the beginning, the people that we would never even know who they are, but you make sure you give them their flowers and your credit. Yeah, yeah, I could tell it, by yeah. your boys that you guys are all very, very like loyal and respect each other. Was it the fact that this dude has no respect that angered you the most, or is the fact that he just came after combo. your family when he Com was combo man? Like shit, you you don't have a spine. You're fucking spineless. You know what I'm saying? So you were literally sleeping on my couch because your hand was broken. Your girl kicked you out. And you stayed on my couch for like eight months like that to me if you did that for me it doesn't matter like what type of beef that me and you have we'll settle to me and you the whole world doesn't have to know it's just between me and you bro yeah. you know if we got problems because some shit happens i always speak well of you just because you did that for me in my life i'm not gonna like fucking and then fabricate shit too you know like just because if you ask him he's like uh, well I, I just went at him because whatever like he doesn't even have an explanation for it and i let him come first he started saying shit online then i caught him at the gym and uh, the coach had separated us immediately. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to catch Ross, you know. And then the, the owner of American Top Team had like a stern talk, Dan Lambert, with me. He's like, man, <clears throat> if, if you catch him in here, bro, I got to let you go. I was like, damn, I've been here for 16 years, man. You going to let me go? He's like, I can't. Because if you do that, it's going to set off a bad example. Yeah. You are one yeah. of the lead guys. You're one of the pillars of American Top Team. Like, you know, and I've People look gotten, up to you. I've already gotten... A lot with a lot of wild shit over there. So I would tell him. <laughs> so I would send him messages. I would get on live, be like, hey, I'm at the Publix where you like to go eat sushi at. I'm over here. And he just, it never happened like that, you know. And then eventually, uh, we both kind of got kicked out of the gym, <laughs> you know. And I got kicked out because they put like this ultimatum like, man, you can't, you can't say no more. Nobody can say nothing to each other online unless they're going to fight each other and they have a contract. And I was like, well, this motherfucker's been talking shit about me for months, and I haven't even said nothing because I'm trying to catch him at the gym. And now they're going to put that? I can't even say nothing. Yeah. So when I went online and popped off, and they were like, you got to go, Master. So they kicked me out for a month, and then they brought my ass back. Kobe, they never brought his ass back. They said, get the fuck out of here, piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> they just wanted to show me, like, don't fuck around, man. So, but I'm full American top team always, bro. Hypothetically and slash allegedly, you saw this guy after the fight. How did this yeah. whole thing happen? Allegedly. Did well, you get a call? Well, what's not allegedly is that this motherfucker went on a podcast, similar to how we are right now, and dropped the video on the same day, like three hours before, hypothetically and allegedly, somebody that looked like me, same ethnicity as me and hand speed as me, was there. That's allegedly. Now, I already beat the case, so we can say whatever the fuck yeah. we want. <laughs> I already beat that shit. I beat it with a stick. Um, but yeah, it's fucking, you know, he made a podcast saying, if I see him in the streets of Miami, you're dead. I'll kill you. He said that? Yeah, it's all on, on recorded video on, on the podcast. But this is after he was avoiding you when you were telling him, come meet up with me, and he wasn't? No, no, never, never, never. I would go, hey, that place you like to eat sushi at, I'd go on my live on Instagram, pull it up. I'd send him messages where I was at. He never wanted to do it because I always wanted to do it man to man. Just like, let's meet right here. Yeah. In the back of this fucking laundry mat, and that's it. Nobody needs to be there, and let's just fucking go. And if one of us is out bad enough, then the other one just pulls back. You know, mm. I'll put your ass to sleep. After I put you to sleep, I'll back up, and vice versa. You know, is he Never. from that background or no? No, hell no. Bro. He's a fucking college wrestler. He just wants to hold your leg as hard as he can. You know, um, and not breathe, and just be like fucking hugging you and hugging you. You know, but when it comes to throw, and and he could have done whatever he wanted because I'm throwing these knees, elbows, hug all you want. You know, it's it, it's a fair fight. But that never happened, so whatever, you know. Um, 
That's this crazy that he mouths fight. off like that, bro. Then he gets on this podcast. He says he's going to kill me if he sees me in Miami. The date that I supposedly did this, allegedly, is the same date he went on the podcast said he's going to kill me. It just so happens I wanted to get a, pizza, a slice of pizza where this dude was at. You know, and I was like, holy smokes, I'm dead meat, bro. This guy's right there. He's going to kill me, literally. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're you're trying to protect yourself, I'm trying bro. to protect You just want to get a, a slice allegedly, of pizza. Allegedly, right? Yeah. And now this motherfucker was first saying that I jumped in with people. Wrong, because the video and the case getting dropped. If I would have jumped him, I would have had I would have done time in jail. If, yeah. like, me and you just would have touched him, that's time in jail. Or I would have had to pay crazy money to this motherfucker. None of that happened. Yeah, we the way they that. saw it is... It's two pro fighters fighting each other. This guy right here just said, you're going to kill this guy if you see him in the streets of Miami in a fucking podcast. We have a fucking conviction letter from you. You fucking self-sabotaging your ass. How are you going to say this? And then whatever happens, happens. And he said it dead ass, as serious as it could be. Not in like, you know, character or whatever he wants to say. I was like, well, here I am, brother. You know? Damn. I wish and I some, crazy. And some really say he ain't never been the same since. He actually tried to sue me for like a year. But guess what? A brain injury. Motherfucker, you're retarded for I touch your ass, dog. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bitch.